Okay, so before I begin this video, I think it's time I talk about something that I could have talked about earlier this morning. And that is, you know, with it being June 30th, today is also the final day of Pride Month. Now, I've said before, and I'll say it again, you know, I am straight. I am not part of the LBGTQIA community. With that being said, um, you know, I have always felt that everyone should just, it's our basic human right to, you know, have the same rights as everybody else. And, you know, even, I mean, even after back in 2015, when equal marriage became, you know, a thing, you know, the fight's not over. You know, there's still so much scrutiny going on. There's so many problems involving the LGBTQIA community that isn't fair. And, oh, apparently your background music. Um, wow, that's gonna be the loudest thing ever. Um, right, so, where was I? Yeah, so, I mean, I could go into how some of that stuff is a thing, but I think I'll wait until, you know, another time. But all I need to know is that, personally, I just think I did a better job talking about, or acknowledging Pride Month this year than I did a year ago. I mean, again, if I did a bad job at it, I'm like, sorry, I don't mean to like do anything wrong. I just, you know, I want to, you know, I want to be, want to be respectful. I want to be sure I, I do it right and do it fair. And, I you know, wanted to want to talk about that in a way that you know is appropriate. So, with that said, how about we end the month of June? How about we end Pride Month with the final arc of the East Blue Saga, Logue Town, A.K.A. the Town of Beginnings and Endings. See. It is an arc that consists of five manga chapters and seven anime episodes. Lots of filler, you see. Now, I mentioned that, you know, it is called Logue Town because it takes its name from the words prologue and epilogue, henceforth beginning and ending. And it fits that description quite well. The biggest example, Gold D. Roger, the original King of the Pirates, was born in Logtown and or Logtown, and he was also executed there. And then there's Luffy himself. You know, he is really be he is going to essentially start his journey, and it's ending his time in the East Blue, as you know he wants to take a look at you know the land of essentially his predecessor. Um, another reason, another way it's beginning and ending, it's, uh, Zoro. See, back in Barazier, when he fought Mihawk, he lost two of his swords, so he's getting two new ones. And he got the, uh, Yobishiri and the, uh, Sandai Kitetsu, or Kitetsu the Third, if, uh, you're speaking in English. And it also does a great job of um, world building as well. That's what makes uh, that's actually what makes this arc as good as it is. Um, for one thing, usually after a major arc in One Piece, take Arlong for instance, there's sort of like a check-in in the world of One Piece. Does that make sense? Like you see other pro prolific characters, you know, in the series, like get together and talk. As well, as well as talk about like big things, like new bounties, world events, reactions to those, to those world events. So yeah, it's actually, it actually sort of takes that sort of, um, well one thing you'll see, one thing I'm going to mention right now is, this arc is much different from the usual, you know, get to a new island, there's a bad guy, beat up said bad guy, and go to the next one. It doesn't do that here. Instead, what it does is actually gives us a reality check in Smoker. So you have to understand, One Piece is a series involving pirates, and Smoker is a marine. 
Now, in real life, if we're talking about Pirates and Marines, the Marines are the good guys. In real life, we're technically rooting for Smoker and rooting against Luffy. But that's not how it works here. And Smoker also showed us our world, the uh, first Logia type Devil Fruit in the series. So, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, a Logia type Devil Fruit is the, a very rare, is arguably the best type of Devil Fruit that allows the user to conjure, manipulate, and become whatever element that Devil Fruit is. In Smoker's case, it just so happens to be smoke. And, you know, the biggest things you can get out of any Logia is intangibility. Basically, if you were a Logia type Devil Fruit user, I punch you, you, uh, if my fist goes right through you, you do not feel any pain, you get the idea. Yeah, as well as uh, other things that come with the uses for it. So, and um, one other really great thing about this arc is um, it actually sort of provides the sort of best hits album for like characters from the East Blue Saga as a whole. In, the, in terms of like the return of Buggy, Alveda, you know, in a way, it's sort of like a send-off for the Straw Hats to go on to, um, to, uh, you know, the Grand Line. And, I mean, let's be honest, we all know that Luffy has the optimism, the charisma, the determination, that he's going to make his dream of being become King of the Pirates true one day. He is. Probably never going to get to that for a good while, but still, you just believe, I mean, you just look at him and you believe he's going to do it. And this arc firmly, you know, emphasizes that better. In the best possible way. Um, what else? What else is there? Uh... Oh, right. I can't really talk about Lowtown without talking about another glimpse at just how vast and how big the world is in, the, in terms of dragon appearing. Yes, Dragon, the person who helped Luffy save Smoker. A guy who outclassed Smoker, in which Smoker outclassed Luffy. So it brings about the question, who the heck is Dragon? And why is he even helping Luffy at all? Now, granted, that answer is going to be, you know, revealed, I'd say, in probably a year's worth of arc reviews from now. In fact... Yeah, come back to me in around, uh, like, May of next year, and I'll, or April, maybe. Uh, sometime that, sometime around this time in 2021, you're going to know a little more about Dragon, as well as a few other important things. So, yeah, that's really about all. You know, we made it. You know, Romance Dawn, Orange Town, Serb Village, Baratier, Arlong, Logue Town. Those are the first six arcs of One Piece. And the entirety of the East Blue Saga. And that was only 100 chapters altogether. <laughs> Out of almost 1,000. You know, some people like to consider One Piece a sort of rabbit hole for just how good it is and how much there is to take in. And while I may be very lost in it forever, what can I say? I'm having a blast every time I think and talk about it. And I can't wait to see what happens next. So, yeah. That's the end of the East Blue Saga. And come at the end of next month, I'll be talking about uh, the first arc of the Alabasta Saga as we head into the Grand Line via the Reverse Mountain Arc. Can't wait to talk about that. So, yeah, I hope everyone had a happy Tuesday. I hope everyone, you know, that it would apply to had a wonderful Pride Month. You know, I, I at least, I definitely hope that. And, um, yeah, like, favorite, share, and subscribe button, follow me on the social media platforms. No terminals and notifications. I'm humble I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I'm hopeful that, again, these last almost two and a half hours of June do you right. And if you don't want to talk with Chad, I'm always going to be here to win the air. I'll always be back. Take care and make good choices. 
See ya.